last week you said that Mac Jones was a lot better than the previous Friday. How mm -hmm. has he been looking this week to you? And then also, since we haven't really been able to talk to him over the last couple of weeks, how has he been handling his first major injury? Yeah, Mac, I think, is making good improvement. Um, and we'll see where he is today. And certainly he's doing a lot more this Friday than – or less Thursday than he did last Thursday. I imagine Friday, the same thing. But, I mean, we'll see. Again, it's all – if a player has an injury, he goes out and does whatever he's capable or instructed to do. And then we see how that re how he responds and what happens. And nobody knows the answer to that question. So if the next day he feels better, then he does more. If the next day he doesn't feel better, has soreness or whatever, then we back off and then try it again. Once he feels that we're at the next rate, so it's a process of steps. When you go one step, then you go to the next step. And then if you can't make it through that step, or then you step back and then you step through it again. So nobody knows how they're going to feel tomorrow after what they do today. I don't know how anybody's going to feel. They're in that category. We'll see where it is. If it's better on Saturday than it was on Friday, then maybe it's a game day workout. If it's worse, then we probably would downgrade the player. If it feels great today and tomorrow feels great, then we're good to go. But that's why Saturday is, a, is an important day in this whole process. I mean, I know everybody wants a definite answer, but it's just totally unrealistic to, to be able to do that. I don't know how a player is going to feel after three days of practice, depending on what the volume is or the intensity is. That's impossible to know that until you actually experience it or he experiences it. So we'll see. Thank you. That's why I prefer going day by day. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. I've, I've tried to avoid that phrase for give it a little break. I think I, I maximized it there and we'll give that a break for a few days. That may be coming back. Thank you. So You're welcome. Bill, you did mention, you mentioned a couple weeks ago, you know, obviously whether or not he's actually ready to play is, is up to the medical staff and, and to him, I think you said. Uh, but then, if he's deemed ready to go, then it's you know it's a it's a you decision. Do we want this player at X percent versus another player at a different percentage? Is that decision yours at this point or not yet? All right. So we're using a lot of pronouns here. So I assume we're just talking generically. We're not talking about any specific player, which Sorry. it would be pointless to talk about any specific player. But well, in general, back, but. yeah. But in general. Until the player is medically cleared to play, then there's no coaching decision involved. Once the player has been medically cleared to play, then I would say in consultation with the player and the medical staff, it's what is the player being asked to do? So kicker has a sore leg, and, he's, and, the, and the decision is, well, you know, he could kick field goals up to a certain range, wouldn't be able to kick off. All right, then as a coach, then that's your decision. And you could say, okay, well, we'll take this player at, let's call it 80%, and here's what his field goal range would be, 80%, and he's not going to kick off and play under those circumstances, assuming that the player also felt comfortable doing that, right? So that's kind of would be an example of a player playing at less than 100%, but functional to a point, understanding that you're going to have to get somebody else to kick off and you're not going to be trying – you know, maximum length field goals. That would be an example. So just put that in some other position, take some other player, and have the same conversation if it gets to that point, right? So that would be the hypothetical situation. So I think it's easier to say that with, you know, talk about that with a kicker who has a very specific job rather than getting to somebody else of like, you know, it's an offensive guard, you can only run so fast straight ahead, how much is he going to pull, you know what I mean? Like that, that gets into like a whole nother rabbit hole that I mean, none of us want to go down. I guess the better way to ask my question would be, can you tell us if he's been cleared, or is that to kind of follow up on Chelsea's question, is that something that wouldn't happen until Saturday? It, you know? it could happen anytime. Okay. There's no like deadline on that. Has, 
the injury report is the injury report. There's a deadline on that, and there's a classification on that, and that's what we follow. Internally, we can do whatever we want based on the information, not do whatever we want, but based on the information that's available, we can make, you know, make any determination that's appropriate. Again, part of that is how a player feels, what he's able to do, what he's not able to do, what the recovery from what his previous output was or wasn't. So, but no, I'm not going into like what we have internally. We talk about the players and all that. And no, we're not, I'm definitely not, I'm definitely not doing that, Phil. You forget about that. Put that in the file. That'll go right there. I want to give you the opportunity. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to to talk about Max' medical status. But I'll skip that. I'll pass on it. But thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, okay. I'm oh, sure. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks again, Phil. Appreciate it. Yeah.